Hello everyone, and welcome to a bit of a blast from the past, if you will, from the grand old days of 2019. Now a lot of you may remember my Nintendo games collection video, slash my games that I have on Nintendo consoles video. And uh, yeah, and I decided I should probably do an update, because it was fun to make. Anyway, I'm not going to do what I did last time with the NES Classic and just like read out all the games that I probably played, because uh, that kind of just wasted a bit of time. But just for reference sake, here is the NES Classic Edition, and here is the SNES Classic. So, uh, yeah, got those out of the way. Okay, so the oldest console I actually have physical games for is the original Game Boy. And the games I have are... Tetris. Pokemon Blue. And Super Mario Land. Now I know this came like way later in the um, Nintendo lifespan, but I thought since we're on the topic of Game Boys, I will do Game Boy Advance now. I do not have any Game Boy Color games, but whatever, I guess you're gonna have to deal with that. I have Mario Kart Super Circuit, of course, probably the best selling GBA game. If you have a GBA, chance are in Mario Kart, there's not really any getting around that. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Now this one is kind of weird because it's Sonic Advanced plus Choo Choo Rockets, but to be honest, am I really going to sit down and play Choo Choo Rockets? So basically it just has Sonic Advanced. Okay, now we're going back in time in uh, the lifespan a little bit to the N64, which is the second oldest console that I have physical games for. I have Super Mario 64. The library really hasn't changed that much from last time, just a tiny bit. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Lilac Wars or Star Fox 64 if you are a American sentient. Turok 2. Can't really see that very well, but oh well. Diddy Kong Racing. And Banjo Kazooie, the best rare game on the system. And probably the best rare game just in general. So yeah, that's uh, my N64 games. Next up, the, which is actually the uh, the newest addition to the family, uh, the GameCube. Now I've got a pretty decent GameCube library considering I basically just got on ours uh, because my original Wii was recently found out the attic along with a bunch of GameCube games. So uh, here are the here they are. I had to move the camera a little bit because it was not going to show it. But Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, if you can just about see that, if I move, back, move it back a lot. There we go. Um, Metroid Prime. Zelda Wind Waker, bundled in with Ocarina of Time. Luigi's Mansion. Super Smash Bros. Melee. They're getting pretty hard to see. But yeah, you see that. Super Monkey Ball. There's getting basically impossible to read the inter- There we go. I have to angle it down a bit, but yeah. Star Fox Adventures. And Super Mario Sunshine. Oh no, most of my amiibo have now been covered up. Oh well. Um, next we are moving on to the DS. Now, um, I actually don't think this library has changed since 2019. Uh, but just in case, I'll, uh, I'll read them anyway. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Team Rescue. New Super Mario Bros. Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars 3. Lego Indiana Jones. I have a lot of licensed games on there from when I was like 10 or whatever. Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Drawn to Life. 
puzzle quest. Okay, those are the only DS games I have. Uh, for the Wii games, I have uh, Wario Land The Shake Dimension. Pokemon Battle Revolution. I should have a, like, a way bigger Wii collection than originally. I think it's probably the, the biggest change besides maybe GameCube. The Beatles Rock Band. I'm gonna have to, there we go. Guitar Hero 5. My arm's kind of getting tired. Guitar Hero World Tour. Guitar Hero Legends of Rock. Noticing the theme. <laughs> um, Zelda Skyward Sword. Zelda Twilight Princess. My arm's getting really tired. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, that's just unnecessary. Boom Blocks. A Steven Spielberg game, fun fact. And uh, yes, it has nothing to do with Steven Spielberg himself, but uh, he made it. Just Dance. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, as seen on the channel recently. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Probably the best licensed game to ever exist. Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> Already it's kind of going off the top a little bit. Wii Play. Wii Fit. Um, next is Wii Sports, but um, before I show, I just want to give a disclaimer um, because uh, the content you're about to see might disturb some viewers. <laughs> um, basically, uh, this is probably really obvious, but Wii Sports came in a little cardboard slip, but I wanted an actual case, so um, I made my own. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. It, I did the wrong size, but you know what? It's the best I could do, okay? So yeah, Wii Sports. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, table Football. It was a really cheap game. <laughs> I just thought, why not? Um, and finally, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yeah, it still kills me inside that I still don't own Mario Galaxy 2, but it's an expensive game, alright? And next up, we got the 3DS. So I have Animal Crossing New Leaf. Super Mario 3D Land. New Super Mario Bros. 2. There's a lot of Mario games on this system. <laughs> Mario Kart 7. Oh, wait. Keep putting them the wrong way around. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 2. Smash Bros for 3DS or Smash 4. Professor Layton Miracle Mask. Paper Mario Sticker Star. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Another licensed game from when I was 10. Um, <laughs> and Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Going off sound a little bit there. Now I recently showed off most of my Wii U games in the Wii U Rex respective video, but uh, yeah, just like one or two more, so might as well go through them. Super Mario Maker. Yeah, really running out of room. Oh, geez, it's a good thing we've only got Nintendo Switch left. Spoilers. Yoshi's. Okay, thank you very much. Yoshi's Woolly World, which yay, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to show the entire box. 
it's not fitting on there. <laughs> Smash Bros for Wii U. Or oh, Smash 4 again. Mario Party 10, which ironically is the only Mario Party game that I now have physically. Which uh, isn't a great one to be the only Mario Party game I have physically, not gonna lie. New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U, which yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. A game which I said I'd pick up right after the Wii U video, and I wasn't lying. Splatoon. Dodge you, I'd pick it up pretty soon. Which, side note, it is very good. <laughs> anyway, this is not the Wii U retrospective video, so. Super Mario 3D World. Lego City Undercover. Oh my god. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Zelda Breath of the Wild. And finally Mario Kart 8. Oh my god, my arm's like doing a workout right now. And I cannot possibly uh, put, uh, put the Switch games there because uh, then they will not have any room to put the camera. So I'm just going to hold the camera like this and put the Switch games on my 3DS pile. Okay, this all I have to do. Um, Splatoon 2. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Yeah, you can see that. Super Mario 3D All Stars, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Super Mario Odyssey, which you know it's pretty dark right now. I don't know why. I've got a massive lamp there. I don't know why it's so dark. <laughs> Professor Layton Miracle Mask. Ring for Adventure. Oh wow, that is really dark. Super Mario Maker 2. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Jump Force Deluxe Edition. Snipper Clips Plus. And finally, Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't know why you can't really see the Let me sh There we go. <laughs> and there we go. And that is an updated uh, Nintendo console games collection. I know uh, this time it's not as uh, evenly spread out all the games. I'm kind of having to <laughs> use this lamp as like a flashlight. But yeah. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>